I'll sidetrack again. I've gotten into toe socks. And I don't know why I went this way, but anyway. I've gotten into toe socks. I've always thought they were kind of cool things. You know, they always come in those girly colors and you usually see girls wearing them, so you go, huh, man, it'd be nice to try out some of those, but I don't want no girly socks to wear. I mean, they're socks after all. You put your shoes on, nobody will know what you have on, right? If they actually work. Anyway, very recently, that's again, 2011, for those of you who might be watching this way in the future, um, I found a pair at Walgreens, like some two pairs. Um, and they were on a closeout, like a dollar or something. So I got them. Had an extra dollar. I'm killing time. My grandmother and mother in the store, you know, and I'm pretty much doing nothing. That's why I happened to notice them and think about it long enough to actually spend a dollar. I should say waste a dollar, but spend a dollar on toe socks. Uh, a rainbow color repair. Um, and a pink, a black with pink pattern repair. Anyway, I tried them out. These are the coolest, most comfortable, most high-functioning socks I done dug. Uh, and I like, you know, high-quality socks, nice support, nice cushion, you know, the, you know, absorbency and all that kind of stuff here on the doctor's talking socks to you. Um, but the toe socks were better. And I was like, wow, man, if you can find, if I could find these in guy-type colors, you know, and not the fluffy kind of materials, one of them was real fluffy and fuzzy and something like that. Um, you know, I've read these. So I happened to mention that on one of the art websites I free with Deviant Art. And um, friends of mine from there let me know about toe socks, which obviously are in style and available, much more widely available in European countries than they are in the United States. They not only have them in men's sizes and men's styles and men's colors, but they have them in certain purposes. Grippies on the bottom for yogas and pilates. Uh, normal use for like, you know, just your little sock slippers. And in fact, those fit so well, they like wearing no socks at all. You have to look down and realize you still have them on. Um, and high performance ones, sport socks if you will, for uh, people who need action. They also, mention benefits of wearing a toe sock to the function of your foot because your toes can actually do what they do individually without being confined by the sock. I found personally too that it all but prevents your toes from sweating because they're not crowded into the sock together. They all got their own individual sock, you know, and so I guess any sweating that they do is absorbed by the sock more efficiently. Anyway, happen to be wearing a pair today, and perhaps that's what led me to this little sidetrack. These are the little grippy bottom ones. They're really amazing because the sock doesn't move around on your foot, and the sock doesn't slide around on the floor. So it's like you somehow got the superpower, like Spider-Man or something, to be able to climb on the walls. I won't recommend you climb on the wall with them, but uh, they are great for yoga, Pilates, um, taekwondo, you know, that sort of thing, okay? Um, I intend to get more of these, don't get me wrong, I'm digging them to death. Anyway, that's enough of the doctor's prescription, talk to you in a minute. Hey, I mentioned about the socks earlier, right? And I do like them, but today is one of those 90 degree type of days and I think I'd like them a whole lot better if they weren't on my feet. So I'm going to lose those. And in the interest of nothing, I had nothing to prove. I can do that right here, right? I'm a person that, um, I guess that's, I should say, that's one of my freedoms. One of my feelings of freedom. Is that, um, I'm not into fashion. You know, the clothing I wear is generally for protection. 